They'll never see me coming, see me coming, where one is coming. So guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about having a low budget wedding or a low key wedding. You see, that's how I sang that song. Uh, the, the wedding that you, they will not see that it's about to happen. Just, ah, this girl that has gotten married. Eh, could you have a book or come within here anything and stuff like that. So... Budget wedding is actually less stressful. Uh, if you ask me, I'm an advocate for budget wedding. Please don't stress me. I don't like stress in my life. I remember my other sister's wedding. My other sister didn't have a budget wedding. I had a budget wedding. I had a low-key wedding. Like people didn't know I was getting married except my close, my family members, few, maybe two, one or two friends. And um, it was maybe the day of my court wedding that I posted pictures. Ah, you're getting married, congratulations. Ah, I show, I show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that was what happened. So, uh, my sister had a big wedding. I'm talking about a big wedding that the hall was full before we finished from church. People in church were unable to get places to sit. Like, the hall was full. It was crazy like that. And I remembered when she was looking for a makeup artist. Ah. My dear brethren, I was used. They used me. They finished me. My dad's sister was actually looking for a makeup artist. So we did our wedding. Was It was in Quara State, Illinois. So she was looking for a makeup artist. We trekked from Tanke Junction. Tanke Junction. If you know Illinois very well, you know Tanke Junction. You're a student of Illinois. We trekked from Tanke Junction. We trekked to Okeodu, Tanke, like from Tanke Junction to Tipa Garage to Okeodu, Tanke, looking for makeup artists. We are entering makeup artist shop. Maybe you see one opposite, we enter that one, to the one opposite, we enter, look at their catalogs and all that, ask for their prices, their range and all that. See, we got to Okeodu. My brethren, people of God, do you know my sister did not choose any of those makeup parties we entered their shop? My sister chose a makeup artist she saw online on Instagram on IG. So if people can see that I was used to <laughs> that's that's just a little bit of how I was used to. Let me just leave that one one side. Let's talk about having a budget wedding. So the budget wedding is actually less stressful, less um time consuming and less expensive. And I always recommend it for anybody else to get married. I always recommend it. So it's a choice. You can decide that you want to have a wedding where the president of Nigeria will come. That's your choice. If you can afford this, uh, I only still come and eat jollof rice. I will eat. I will add your chicken. I will drink. We will take drink. We will eat chicken. So, <laughs> so that's just it. So it's not like I'm trying to impose something I prefer on people. No, this is just me saying my own opinion of what I like and what I prefer. So when it comes to making budget wedding, it has to be uh, uh, something, an agreement between both partners. You can't say you want a budget wedding and your fiance or your fiance says he or she does not want a budget wedding. You know that it cannot work that way. Both of you have to come to a, an agreement that yes, this is what we want, this is what I want. My husband and I, I think before we got married, remember we were just still friends, so always talk about it now. I prefer a lucky wedding. Yeah, same with him. So two are shaking, shereggy, two are okay for. So that's it. So you have to agree first that both of you actually want this type of wedding. Also, apart from after you guys have agreed on okay, you want a lucky wedding. You also need to agree of what type of wedding do you want to have. So I'll be using my wedding as a case study. I'll be using I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. So, and I'm also a Yoruba person. I'm a Christian, Yoruba. So, the things I'll be explaining would be around those two important things. So, um, after you've agreed that, okay, both of you have agreed that you want to have what? A low budget wedding. What is the next thing to do? You have to talk about what type of wedding do you want exactly? Could be a court. Is it just course you want to do? Is it court and traditional? Is it court and church? Is it church and traditional? Church and courts? And all that. 
So you have to decide on which one. Actually, went for a traditional and court wedding. The two I didn't go to a church wedding. Maybe I want person that okay, yeah, you like pastoral blessing or in culture. You can decide you want to do a small church wedding. Mm. But I actually opted for traditional and court wedding. Mm. So the next thing you have to do is now to tell your parents. <laughs> you know, African parents, haha, <laughs> they will be like, eh, you want to shake in a low key wedding? Do you know how many people I've been rejoicing with? You don't want them to come and rejoice with me. My dear, you have to inform them. And when you're informing them, you have to learn to stand on your ground. You have to learn to, what, to stand on your decision with your partner. Because at the end of the day, you're actually living with your partner. You're not going to live with your parents. Uh -huh. So whatever decisions they make, whatever decision you make, will have an after effect on you and your partner, not on your parents. You decide you want to have a high wedding and your partner cannot afford it. This person has to go through um, a lot of stress to get money and all that just for wedding to please your parents. You need to actually affect your home. So you have to learn to stand on your ground. Also, when you inform your parents, learn to always um, defend your partner also when you inform your parents. Maybe your parents are like, is it because, is it that boy that said you people should do low-key? It's both of your decision. You let them know that it is both of your decision that you actually decided that was what you wanted. Uh, so they don't go and put Allah on your fiance on fiance's head and stuff like that. So let's stand on your ground. And when you're informing them, you can, after standing your guns, you look for a persuasive way to talk to them. You are the one that know how to talk to your parents and they will listen and all that. Let's know. Me, then I told my mom. Thank God for her. No, well, I told them we are expecting 20 guests from me and my husband's side. 20 guests. So, what did you buy? Hello. So, come here. My husband also told his, um, his parents the same thing. So, we told them. Uh, when some were like, oh, I'll come with this. Other. Okay, oh, but who? We've told you what we want. We want a lucky wedding and all that. So after you've informed your parents and they've actually listened, they've agreed and all that, what are the things you should put in place? Um, number one is venue. Uh, so if since you're having a lucky wedding, there are venues that will cost you less or will not cost you anything at all. Well, a venue that will not cost you anything at all is maybe your parents' house. That's if you are going for a traditional. Yeah, your parents' house. If you are going for a traditional. So... You can't pay for because what is your parents? Don't think that it will cost you maybe in your parents. Maybe you don't want to use do a city room stuff. Maybe you want to use a compound, getting of chairs, renting of um canopies and all that. That's what my costume. But for me, I actually got a venue. I got a small hall, like a very small hall. It could accommodate I think it could accommodate fifty people and all that. So I got a small hall. So another thing we did was decorations. So Decorations, we got someone to do decoration for us. Uh, music, we got a DJ. And um, the Alaga, the, all these women, Alaga, Duru, Alaga, Joko, I think, they came with drummers also. So that, that was the music for us. Uh, so what else did I do? Um, my checklist, um, cake. Cake was not if I should have left it to my husband. Now I'm talking about my traditional wedding now. I have left it cake to my husband. I was not even interested in us having cake. So we had cake. What else did we do? What else should you put in mind? Your clothing, your outfits, your court wedding outfits, and traditional outfits, or maybe your church wedding outfits, and your traditional outfits, your shoes, bags. You know, when it comes to clothing, ladies tend to um tend to what spend more than men. Men um after they maybe traditional they bought their buba and soro with their agbada, their shoes, their cap. Also, but ladies, you have to think about your makeup, your jewelries, your shoes, your bags, and all that. So, um, what else? When it comes to court now, your court wedding, you should go for, I always prefer you go for a day where you have less, less uh, um, busy day. For instance, during the week, rather than opting for Saturdays, 
a Saturday is always more crowded. But I can't say for Lagos cause weddings, child, because I think they do wedding every day in that Lagos state. <laughs> so I actually opted for a Thursday. A Thursday was mine. That was a Thursday. And I think it was three of us, three couples started together three mine in the morning, early in the morning. We were the first set. So we opted for Thursdays and we didn't I'm not sure the event lasted up to and ha. Everything they did. If it lasted an hour, I'm not sure up to, it lasted up to two hours. It, it didn't it didn't. It was so short. It went straight to the friend. Pa, 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 pa. And when they finished, I packed my load. I went to my husband to went to his house. <laughs> our party because the uh, course wedding was actually before the traditional. So our party. <laughs> So after the cut wedding, I did our traditional when we use a small hall. So the things that will cost you mostly for a low budget wedding is venues, chairs. As I said, chairs if you are not using a hall and all that. So venue, um, your clothing. So you should also put in mind accommodation where you will stay. Might be the one that I don't want to stay at home. For instance, I stayed at home, I think, at one of my aunt's place, related to my um, court wedding. But related to my traditional, I moved to an hotel. Yeah, as well as that, we're in the same hotel, but separate rooms. So we moved to an hotel for pictures and all that. Uh -huh. So I was in the hotel with my makeup artist and my younger sister, who was my chief bridesmaid. She was my chief bridesmaid for my court wedding. Traditional, we don't need to be my brochure. So she my right hand, my partner. So you need something, someone like that. Also, so lucky weddings. What one way it saves you cost that you don't even need an event planner. Plan it yourself. But if you know you have the money for event planner, because I don't, it does, it, there's no stress. Like there's, I think where where um for my own wedding, everything was set as that. One month to the wedding, everything was set except that okay, cake was not so cake and we'll be ready before dinner. Uh -huh. But everything was in shape already. And that's one month to her wedding, everything was in shape. So one thing we also did was that um that cost us money was souvenirs. We did I think we did um paper bags of I think twenty or forty pieces now. Twenty pieces. We we had um jotters, wine, um and friends and all that. Just something not too expensive and all that. So because we've told our parents that it's 20 guests we are expecting. So we didn't do souvenirs more than 20. Chicken, eh? So it was, um, I actually had over to my other to give it to a particular set of people. People that I know that this is the people I'm expecting. So when the came to meet me in the souvenir, anyway, that's finished, ma. <laughs> so and also another aspect i know maybe you might say i've not talked about is food feeding yeah uh, since we actually opted for 20 people for our parents were still like they will invite something they actually undied the cooking themselves each parent like my right my family um had their own cooking my other family also had their own cooking separately also so we were not even bothered about the cooking. So we tried to that we should give them money. We were like, oh, no, you know, most times Yoruba people always tend to help their kids um, for weddings and all that. So then it was the parents that actually handled uh, feeding and all that. So I was just, we showed up. <laughs> we showed up. So, and that's what we were through. I don't know, we, we didn't have, should we say, reception or whatever. Immediately they did the introduction of family. If you've been to Yoruba um, wedding before, because they'll do um introduction also because it was together with my introduction, um mommy moi. So they did introducing family this after event time as well as event time and they started introducing the um, pastor as preach and all that. I just I went out, I went to change. And I, I think I was outside till they finished whatever they were doing inside. My husband also came out with Tasha. They finished what we were doing, and everybody hates. And everybody went home. That was it. No stress, no wala, no woman dance, no do a boom boom. Please, you want to give us money? Put it there if you don't give us. <laughs> we will say thank you now, Abby. <laughs> you want to do a key wedding? Please ensure you can afford it. Don't go and borrow loan. There's no award for overall best wedding. Mm -mm. Don't go and borrow loan because of wedding. 
do as you are capable. Uh -huh. So, do as you are capable. So another thing my the family handled that we didn't handle was for now the um the, my husband's family now. What the, another thing they handled is was was the bride had this every away of course. So they don't the handle that part. So it, on that place we didn't also spend much. I think my husband sent his mom some money or so I don't know. I think he did for that. that. So for my, what did I get? What are the things I actually got? I got my clothes, my shoes, my bags. Um let me say bag. Because I just one clutch I used throughout for both weddings. My shoes. And I think I got all these like three was it three or four months before my wedding? And then it was around September. My wedding was in January. Because I know I was still serving when I got my wedding things. And I finished service October 2018. My wedding was January 2019. So I've gotten everything I needed before I finished service. I've gotten, I got everything I needed before I finished service. So I got my clothes, shoes, bags. I was wondering where to get um, the souvenirs. Um, that has this um the take the first towel and um and fan. And fan was where we prepared our program on. Yeah, it was other program for a traditional wedding. So that was what we did. My bead was made by my younger sister. One thing you should also put in mind is to have have someone in that location. Have some your location that can go out and check something. I can go out and check things out for you and all that. And also, you can also create a time. Um, now you and your friends say, go to the place. Both of you can create a time together at the same time. So both of you can go to check out things out. And then I actually created the time. So we went to check out the hall. Uh -huh. I think that was basically what we went to the hall. And also, okay, we got our ring also at the same time we went to check out the hall. We went to a vendor where we got our wedding ring. So, how's that? So, guys, wedding is not hard to. Now you want to pass yourself. <laughs> Being a wedding is not it's not expensive. Now you want to pass yourself. You don't have to wear uh, flowing white gown. I didn't even wear white gown for my coach wedding. And I think um, the other couples that came with us, I think one of them wore a wedding gown. One boy, a cream color gown because she was pregnant. So, so uh, that's just it. I do even think both of them were even frowning. I don't know why those couples were frowning. <laughs> like, I guys not happy to be getting married. Like, it was my husband and I that were the clown in that wedding. We said we just laughing. Like, we said we should take over. <laughs> the time I almost forgot my what they said we should repeat after that. I'm just laughing. So, they're just exchanging for our laughing. But those other couples, and my aunt, when we got to my aunt, was like, those other two couples, like, they forced them to get, <laughs> to get married because I don't know why they were frowning. <laughs> so, that was just it. That was having a lucky wedding. So, the things I stated are not, should I say, they are not like couples. You can just pick what works for you from there. I just stated my own experience. Use mine to explain. How to go about it so you can just pick one or two points what you think and i'm trying to uh, this video actually be useful for anyone that is actually ready to get married or you are thinking contemplating should i do this and do this so let me tell you what that it's not about the wedding event itself what matter most is what what matter most is what is your marriage yeah your home you cannot think of um you can't um have a big wedding and then you go back home soaking gary could make sense now. Can imagine having a wedding of one million, two million, three million, four million, five million plus, and you are living in a self contained When well, one one room face might slap you. No, no, all wrong. Those money, that money you spent on your wedding, use it to settle yourself, get an accommodation, maybe you go to a business or that. That I even say this. You should be looking at your money in your account like this. Okay, I'm the owner of this money. Then for you to now be spending the money on wedding or a day events, please. You know you cannot afford it. Don't stress yourself. And please don't delay that border. Get married, please. Please. So as if you are ready for marriage. <laughs> so I think that's all for today. I'll catch you guys later. Are you guys enjoying?
my video please let me know in the comment section i love you guys thank you so much bye